Hi, Scorpio. This is a peek at your partner for the week of November the 1st through November the 4th, 2023. Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Scorpio for November the 1st through November the 4th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Scorpio for November the 1st through November the 4th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Scorpio for November the 1st through November the 4th. 2023 show me happy birthday Scorpio happy birthday you guys subscribe like comment and share these videos if this does not resonate with you check your moon rising and Venus sign videos I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Scorpio. Scorpio, this is a peek at your partner. So, Scorpio, your partner has the Ace of Wands. Your partner has the Eight of Pentacles. Your partner has the Four of Cups. Your partner has the Devil. And your partner has the Five of Swords. So, Scorpio. Your partner has the Ace of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. Now, this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So brand new, passionate beginnings. So Scorpio, listen, your partner could tell me that they have the spark of a new idea, could be initiating something here. This can be passionate communication, romantic passion, or a heated discussion or argument, or starting a passionate new beginning. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Scorpio's partner. It is clarified with the Eight of Pentacles twice. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering their craft, perfecting their skills, trades, and abilities. This is your partner throwing themselves into their work. But this can also speak to them being willing to work on it or put in the work. So Scorpio, listen, this could all be work or business for your partner. You can tell me or they can tell me that they're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. They can tell me that they're working on something, planning something, perfecting something here. Now, Scorpio, your partner could tell me that they have the spark of a new idea or initiating something dealing with work or business. They can tell me that it was some type of heated discussion or argument at work, Scorpio. Uh, they could be planning something here, Scorpio, wanting to come in and give you this wand, maybe wanting to initiate something here, come towards you passionately, Scorpio. You can tell me that they want to work things out and start a passionate new beginning with you. I hope that they didn't start a passion in the beginning with someone that they work with and do business with. Scorpio, your partner has the Eight of Pentacles again. So like I said, they can tell me that this is all work or business. They could be willing to work things out, willing to put in the work, or they're working on something, planning something, perfecting something here. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Scorpio's partner. It is clarified with the Three of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is we are reunited and it feels so good. Let's go out, eat, drink, and be merry and celebrate. Celebrate that we're reunited and it feels so good. But this can also speak to there being a third party situation going on. So Scorpio, listen, your partner could tell me that they have just cause to celebrate. Your partner could tell me that you guys are reuniting or there's a third party. 
Now, Scorpio, listen, your partner could tell me that they have just cause to celebrate with work or business. They're initiating something here, passionately going after something with work or business. Your partner could tell me that they're wanting to work things out here, Scorpio, and reunite with you. Work things out and come give you the wand. Scorpio, like I said, I hope there is no third party at work. Hmm. Scorpio, your partner has the four of cups. Scorpio, cancer. Are they working on something, planning something, perfecting something here to have just cause to celebrate, wanting to initiate something here? Some type of plan. Scorpio, cancer, Pisces. There's an offer on the table that your partner is not accepting or rejecting. They're contemplating this offer, but actually they're bored with the offer, thinking of missing the offer. But this is also a card of your partner contemplating sending an offer, but they fear that the offer will be rejected. So Scorpio, very well could be an offer coming into your partner that they're thinking about missing. However, they could be contemplating sending an offer. They just have this fear it won't be accepted. Clarify the Four of Cups for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the Four of Cups for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the Four of Cups for Scorpio's partner. It is clarified with the Nine of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is your partner being guarded and standing their ground. They have a stance. They meant what they said. They said what they meant. They're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, out of eye, or anything. But this is also a card of your partner saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. But this is also a card of your partner having their walls up, their guards up. They're not trusting. A little suspicious, a little paranoid here. So Scorpio, listen, your partner could tell me that they're highly suspicious. They have their guard up. They don't trust. Your partner could tell me that they're guarding something. Your partner could tell me that they're going to be persistent or they're standing their ground here. Scorpio, you know, your partner could tell me that maybe they're standing their ground concerning some type of offer with work or business, ready to start something new here. Mm -hmm. Scorpio, your partner could tell me that they're guarding the fact that they're coming in with an offer, Scorpio, not letting anyone know. Or they're going to be persistent with coming in with the offer here. Scorpio, this offer could be coming into your partner from you, and they're a little hesitant, a little guarded here. Hmm. Scorpio, your partner has the devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, but this devil energy can speak of a toxic energy that is looming over you guys' relationship. And what makes it toxic is this restrictive and binding. Someone may be obsessive, possessive, controlling, abusive. Someone may have an addiction to sex, drugs, drinking, smoking, working too much, money, attention, gambling, sports, video games, eating too much, anything that a person does too much of. Or someone here is in a full-blown relationship somewhere else, causing this toxic energy to loom over you guys' relationship. So Scorpio, could be dealing with a Capricorn, but when we're dealing with this devil energy, this can speak of something being toxic, restrictive, and binding. This can speak of a legal binding contract, but also temptation. Clarify the devil for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the devil for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the devil for Scorpio's partner. It is clarified with the Eight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve them. This is your partner detaching emotionally, feeling emotionally drained, and just walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve them. So Scorpio, listen, your partner could tell me that they're walking away, detaching emotionally, but when we're dealing with the Eight of Cups, this is someone who's leaving in search of the Nine of Cups, their wish fulfillment. And oftentimes they find that the grass is not greener on the other side, so they end up returning. So Scorpio, your partner could tell me that they're walking away or returning. Now Scorpio, this can be dealing with maybe a legal binding contract, maybe work or business that they're walking away from. They're starting something new, okay, or they found something and have just cause to celebrate. Very well could be trying to offer something more, and they're like, no, nah, I'm good. I'm going to walk away. 
You know, your partner could tell me, Scorpio, this is toxic. So I had to walk away, Scorpio. But Scorpio, I want to know if this person is tempted to return. And are they returning with the idea of going into some type of legal binding contract, having just cause to celebrate something that they're planning and working on here and going to be persistent with this offer? Scorpio, they could also be walking away from some type of commitment that they're already in, some type of contract that they're already in concerning relationships here, Scorpio. And is maybe hell bent in coming to work things out with you, but not just work things out. Having just cause to celebrate here. Scorpio, your partner has the five of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is tit for tat, tug of war, one up in one another, snide remarks, having the last say, speaking ill of one another behind each other's back, backstabbing one another. This is playing mind games, ego tripping, trying to win at all costs, a bunch of mind games and manipulation. So Scorpio, listen, your partner could tell me that you guys had this tit for tat, tug of war, toe to toe going on. Could be some form of mind games and manipulation. Or your partner is telling me that they're pissed. And they have an axe to grind here. Clarify the five of swords for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the five of swords for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the five of swords for Scorpio's partner. You're at the bottom of the deck. It is clarified with strength. Could be dealing with a Leo. But the universe is calling for your partner to have strength, courage, determination, motivation to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of your partner trying to tame, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, trying to tame their lust, tame their passions, trying to restrain themselves, restrict themselves and hold themselves back from something. So Scorpio, listen, could be dealing with a Leo, but your partner could tell me that they're feeling extremely weak here. Your partner could tell me that they're restraining themselves, restricting themselves, and holding themselves back, or trying to muster the strength and courage to do something. Clarify strength for Scorpio's partner. Clarify strength for Scorpio's partner. Clarify strength for Scorpio's partner. It is clarified with the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone coming into your partner or your partner coming in to bring something more solid, stable, and secure. Now, this can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. But it's on the slowest moving night in the deck. So having anything solid, stable, secure, and long-lasting is so slow coming to the point where it seems like it's not coming at all. So stability or commitment has been halted here. So Scorpio, listen, your partner is telling me that everything has come to a screeching halt, either with practicality or with commitment here. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Scorpio's partner. It is clarified with the Six of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from their past. Flashback from the past. Full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from their past is back. Now, they can be reminiscing on someone from their past, remembering someone from their past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So, Scorpio, listen, your partner could tell me that they're having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite with you, someone from their past. Your partner could tell me that someone from their past is in the picture. Someone from your past is in the picture. Something from the past is being brought back up here. Or this involves children. Now, Scorpio, for some reason with this reading, I feel like you very well could be getting a bird's eye view here. However, I'm going to tell you that very well could have been something going on with their practicality, with their coins, work, or business. They're upset, so they're mustering the strength and courage to uh, just walk away from the situation and maybe go back to a, a past endeavor, a past venture, work venture, okay? Your partner could tell me that something from the past 
is being bought back up in their current relationship, Scorpio, which I don't think is you. I think they're in some type of legal binding contract or commitment with something, someone. But something from the past is being bought back up here that is causing them to just wanting to bring everything to a screeching halt. They're pissed off about it, Scorpio. Scorpio, I also see that two things here. This person who they're walking away from is trying to come with one last ditch effort with an offer here and they're not buying it because they're wanting to walk away. They're determined to not be defeated here. Wanting to come towards someone from their past who is you, Scorpio. Scorpio, I also feel that they're going to be persistent with making some type of offer towards you, someone from their past. I don't know if you tempted them so much to leave a situation, Scorpio, but all they can focus on is working things out with you, starting new with you, but not just working things out. I also feel like this person is planning something here, Scorpio, to have you guys to have just cause to celebrate, Scorpio. I hope you're following me. You know, in this aspect, I feel like, yes, it could be work or business for this person, but I could also see where you're getting a bird's eye view, Scorpio. They're leaving something behind to come towards you. I'm going to take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for your partner, Scorpio. I'm starting to understand our connection. I'm starting to understand our connection. What else for Scorpio's partner? What else for Scorpio's partner? You don't know how hard it was to let you go. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. So they may have let you go, Scorpio, in the past to maybe work on something they were already in. But I feel like they can't take it anymore. I feel like they're fed up, Scorpio. It's a wrap. They're coming towards you. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Scorpio, this is a peek at your partner for the week of November the 1st through November the 4th, 2023. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at herimmortalmaj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.